Earth Attract is a residential respite day service for adults and intellectual disabilities in Mayo and the health service executive directly manages Earth Attract and it works in partnership as you know with other statutory and voluntary organisations to deliver intellectual disability services to uh, the population in County Mayo. Now I'm not going to go over the um, the challenges that there has been around uh, our Attracta uh, for the residents there, for the families and indeed for many of the staff. But what I'm trying to ascertain today is I know that there is a change process, a, a change plan in process and what I want to, to, to get to is the level of consultation uh, that has happened with residents, with uh, service us users of the day services and with the families. And I want to ensure that the services and supports that are needed by those users um, are guaranteed, are there now and are, that are guaranteed into the long term. I want to also make sure that it is kept within the remit of the HSE and that there are not parts of it privatised out to organisations where profit maximisation is their priority. And furthermore, I want to ensure that the staff are protected as well within the system so that their terms and conditions uh, are protected. Uh, but in terms of the day users in particular, I want to make sure that people who have made life decisions and families who have made life decisions to be near our attractor, so that's buying their homes and settling there, are not now going to find that the service users are going to be moved to Ballina or to other locations throughout um, the county. So I want to seek those assurances from you today, Minister. Minister. Gormagat Cahirlach, and uh, thank the Senator uh, Conway Walsh for raising this important issue today, mm -hmm. which I am taking uh, Cahirlach on behalf of my colleague, the Minister for Disabilities, Fanin McGrath TD. This is a time of major change in the delivery of social care in this country and the HSE has embarked on a transformation programme, HSE Transforming Lives programme, which aims to put the citizen at the heart of everything we do. One of the central aims of this transformation is to strive to ensure that every one of our citizens has an effective right, free from discrimination, to contribute to the economic, social and cultural life of our country and in doing so to achieve the best outcomes possible for themselves and their families. I know that Minister McGrath has been very encouraged over the past couple of years to see the number of organisations nationwide that are immersing themselves wholeheartedly in the transformation programme. Traditional adult day services have, for the most part, been organised as segregated services, separate from local communities and offering limited options, experiences and choices. New Directions is one of the key policy documents contained in the HSE Transforming Lives programme. It sets out an approach to day services that envisage all the supports available in communities that will be mobilised so that people with disabilities have the widest choice and options about how to live their lives and how to spend their time. New Directions sets out 12 supports that should be available to people with disabilities using day services. It proposes that day services should take the form of individualised outcome-focused supports to allow adults using those services to live a life of their choosing in accordance with their own wishes, needs and aspirations. New Directions highlights three underlying principles which should underpin services, that is, person-centredness, community inclusion and active citizenship in order to provide the best outcomes for individuals with a disability. Our attracted day services is transitioning in line with New Directions policy. The HSE currently provides day services on site at Aura Attracta. However, this is not in keeping with the requirements to meet New Directions policy as it is located within a congregated setting. Day services at Aura Attracta will close at the end of 2018 and a service provider called Praxis has been appointed to provide the new day service under the New Directions policy from January 2019, based in Balna. Provision has been made to accommodate all current service users attending Aura's Attracted Day Services in this new day service, or if more appropriate to their needs, to another service model. Staff will also be reassigned to other areas of service within Aura's Attracted or Mayo Community Living. Briefly, Senator Wild. Yeah, thank you, Minister, for that. And I think the crux of it is that the geography of Mayo, in terms of expecting people to travel from one end of the county to the other to access day services, is, uh, is not acceptable. Um, and also, the service provider called Praxis 
Uh, we don't know anything about Praxis. I mean, is that a, a privatising of the services? Are they going to be based in Ballina? Is somebody from Kilchamock going to be expected to travel, somebody with special needs and, and intellectual challenges, to travel from Kilchamock, say, to uh, Ballina each day? I would ask you and ask Minister McGrath to have a look at that situation and to visit the place and to know the geography of the place, to know that some of the the, the challenges and the barriers that are being put before service users and their, family aren't, and their families aren't acceptable. Thank you. Maybe, maybe Minister Daly could get Minister McGrath to make direct contact with Yeah, thank you, Carl. Look, uh, look, change the geography of me is a bit like West Cork. It's, it's a very spread eagle. And yeah, change, change always brings about challenge, but it also opportunities. And I think it's important from a government point of view that the policy is being implemented. I would uh, suggest that uh, the Senator engage as well with the HSE management locally, uh, who are uh, overseeing the, the minute detail of this and the individual uh, issues that the, the Senator raises. Uh, they would be quite happy to engage with you on that, the HSE management locally. Okay. Thank on, you. On to ensure that Thank nobody you. is left behind. Okay, Thank that's you. understandable, especially this time of the year.